Hello guys, so today I bring you the unboxing of a Ivory Edition um, Legend of the Five Ring starter deck. Uh, it's a um, Crane Clan deck, as you can see from the Mon on the side and also from the illustration on the front. Uh, these starter decks come in these very nice tin boxes, which you can use to uh, actually hold um, to actually store your own uh, deck. As you can see uh, in relation to an Ultra Pro box, these are um, quite larger in order to fit the two 40 card decks. So it's actually a really cool idea. Um, let's open this tin box and see what's inside. I'm just gonna cut through the plastic here okay. let's open it up and as you can see the contents are actually very nice you get the well, a booklet basically telling you a bit about the Crane Clan. It's a piece of a storyline, which is actually very nice because Legend of the Five Rings is a, is a collectible card game that evolves a, a lot around the storyline. And on tournaments and such, when you win a tournament, for example, you get to choose actually the, the way the storyline evolves. So. Um, you also get two rule books. You get the basic rule book, which has all you need to start playing the game, basically. And then you get an advanced rule book, which has further insight into uh, some particularities of the game. For example, dishonor personalities, the way you use the imperial favor, the traits, um, advanced victory conditions, and so on. So it's actually very nice to separate the, the rules like this because you, um, you have a rule book that has all you need to start playing basically and then you get the advanced version which has uh, much more extra information. So here we have the starter deck. It has the um, clan stronghold and also the fixed cards that belong to the clan. And you also get, which is very nice, three extra Ivory Edition boosters, which you can use to complement uh, the starter deck that you that you get on the box. So it also gives you some cards to trade with with your um, with your buddies and so on. So very nice contents uh, regarding this box. We. Um, we are actually uh, very excited about every edition and the changes there have been to rules in order to get more uh, people playing. So I'm um, just going to flip through these rule books and then we're going to get through the cards themselves. So this is the basic rule book. And well, basically it starts with the credits then you have the table of contents which has the initial game setup and also uh, the way the player turns uh, get uh, played so it basically helps you get your game started and get you inside the game it tells you about the different card types all the stats on the different cards Here's a holding, for example, so on, so on. So it's actually here you get to know what a personality card looks like and the different stats, so on. So all the basic content you need in order to start playing the game. On the advanced rulebook, you have some text explaining particularities about the provinces and about personalities, for example, the key death, advanced card types like senseis, 
what uh, the different stats you have on a sensei card, the events, spells, rings, actions, how the cards behave, when they're dishonored, how to lobby for the imperial favor and so on, and also enlightenment, game terms and keywords, so all the different keywords that you might see on personalities, so on and a complete turn sequence and also reference to online rules where you can find out even more information attack phase abilities on the engage segment and the combat segment and so on so really interesting to have the rule book separated like this now let's take a look at the actual cards we have on the starters Crane starter up and see what kind of cards we're getting inside. Here we go. Let's sit down here. So we have the clan stronghold. In every edition, it's the same, the same stronghold for, um, well, every different uh, type of gameplay. Before, you used to have strongholds that were more or less adapted to the different kinds of gameplay that um, the clan had, so they tried to simplify that, which is actually very nice. I'm going to actually put this here on the side, try to get this more center so you have the imperial favor card as well then you have two cards one of them explains the starting setup and the turn sequence and on this side you have the attack phase and such and on this one you have the action phase player abilities and also the battle and dynasty phase player abilities so they try to put quite a lot of information on these cards so that you can uh, actually use them as a reference to play your games instead of having to go through the rulebook every so often. So you also get Doji Makoto, which is the clan champion for the Crane clan. Um, you're gonna get as fixed cards Coastal Pearl Bat, and these are actually uncommons to counting houses, to family libraries, one famous bazaar, to farmer's market, to house of exotic goods, to kabuki theater troupe, and the clan holdings which are the marketplaces you get three of those these are specific to crane clan so also two poorly placed gardens and one turquoise court which is actually a unique card so you can only have one of those on your on your deck at any given time so that's why there's only one copy of those. As for personalities, you get Daidoji Gensai, which is a scout cavalry. Daidoji Tametaka, you get a playset of those. So three copies. You're also going to get a playset of Doji Dainagans, which may lobby as an open action. So, three of those as well. You're gonna get one Doji Kataka, Katata, two, you no, know, a playset of Doji Kurohime, so three of those, one Doji Soeka, and a playset of Kakita Amikis.
you're also going to get one Kakita Izumiko. Nope, you get a playset of those as well. So it's very nice to have some important personalities in playsets. Um, so you can get all the copies you need in order to create uh, a very consistent deck right away. You also get a playset of Kakita Ojiros. And here is the ancestral armor of the Crane Clan. Every, every clan has one of those and also one clan champion in each starter, I guess. And also some more items, Regal, Fury Soul, Yutaku's Destiny. And now we're gonna get some followers as well. Court Scribe, a play set of Sparrow Clan Aids. Here we have a couple of rings, so Ring of Earth, Ring of Fire, and Ring of the Boy. Maybe there are also Ring of Waters and Ring of Airs somewhere. Let's see. You get a play set of block supply lines. You get a play set of Breaking the Rhythms, which is a a battle action that is actually uh, being used a lot. Discretionary Valor, you get three of those as well. So, set them here. Do not delay. So, two copies of those. One favors. And a play set of flashy techniques. One come one at a time. This was actually uh, reprinted from, I think, Lotus. No, maybe Samurai was the last edition that featured this card. So hold the walls, you get two of those. Hunter replaces Rage. One two, three, Yajutsu Dojo, two copies. Inexplicable Challenge, one. Sanctioned Duel, one of those as well. Stand or Run, two copies. Strategic withdrawal, you get a play set of those, and that's it. No more no more cards on the uh, crane starter. So it's actually very nice content. You get a play set of most important personalities and also a lot of action play sets. You get the clan specific armor, the clan champion, the clan stronghold. So basically um, all the very important parts in, in order to, to create your deck. So let's see what we have in store in terms of boosters. So let me pick those up. These boosters also came with the starter. So I'm gonna get the actual starter cards out of here. I didn't quite count them, but as you can see, you get a lot of cards on your starter and a lot of good cards in order to um, make your first deck. So, so far the contents are actually really great. Let's open these boosters up and see what they have in store for us. I'm gonna use my trusty pair of scissors and try to cut this open. Oh, I actually have a dent here. As you can see, <laughs> I'm not very skilled at open boosters, so. so 
let's I'm gonna put the rest of the boosters up here and let's go through the cars on this first one so as common cars you we're gonna get a reinforced parango also a Yazuki trader in stillness forge the soul we're gonna get a spider clan personality Yamako Horiol Katana a dragon clan personality Mirumoto Niwa Stand and Run Kakita Miki Confusion at Court Wandering Caravan For Uncommons we're gonna get Mahatsu Sensei which is actually very cool it's for uh, enlightenment decks in order to get enlightenment victories by placing all the five elemental rings in play quite a cool and common a farmer's market one karmic strike and Hiruma Ita and I think this one is the rare card and covering the culprit so it's a card for a magistrate deck and you also get some oh well, you get the draft stronghold which is actually very cool i didn't know it came with all the hybrid edition boosters so you get the draft stronghold and on the other side you get the draft rules so you can actually buy just a couple of boosters you know and get um playing draft with some friends so it's actually very nice that they include it so let's just put this here so let's see what we have on this booster we are getting for commons a spearman you don't need to roll one fallback one Shugenja, Manti Shugenja, Kitsune Kohaki and uh, Spell, Overwhelming Power Shiva Heraki Block Supply Lines Jade Works Strength of My Father Mirumoto no Kai and here are the uncommon cards we're getting Soul Sacrifice Akodo Kanaro Heavy Cavalry, Moto Shinua, which is actually a very nice unicorn personality, and for rare we get Dainiko, which is an unaligned fire monk Ronin, and after you recruit recruit her, you get um, you give her four one force fire tokens, and you get. Uh, token card which is a Barangar scout which is a 3-1 scout cavalry and it says that this is a proxy for a creative card it's not considered to have a title it cannot be included in decks so a little bonus and on the other side you get the draft stronghold so let's get this here on the side and open the third booster let's open the third booster that came with the crane starter deck I'm going to use my trusty scissors here okay. let's set it down here so for commons we have a storm fort blade a dodgy dynagon which we actually already had a playset on the starter that's okay a kodo kaiken a one-handed weapon an unaligned kensai duelist disrupting the rhythm sandayu 
key catch, zoom in, initiates, curl dojo, medium infantry, Hiruma Fujita, one ring of earth, and for actually the ring of earth is an uh, uncommon card, and we also get the Togashi Koremi, which is also uncommon, fearful volley, one Daidoshu Tametaka, I don't remember if he already had a playset, oh, and a foil secluded outpost, which is actually a very, very nice rare card. And here is another draft struggle. So, actually, really cool card. And these were the other rares we got on the other two boosters. So, I'm very, very happy with this secluded outpost. The foil, you actually have three. Uh, look, they look like golden coins here, and the whole extent of the card is foil. So, really nice look. That's it, and thank you for watching this unboxing of the Ivory Edition uh, Crane Starter Deck for Legend of the Five Rings collectible card game. See you next time, guys.